Elemental magnesium refers to the amount of the actual magnesium element in a magnesium compound. So any magnesium supplement that you're going to find is never just pure magnesium. So if you take a look at this slide here, you can see pure magnesium is just an element. It's just metal. It's just, it's just a metal. So obviously you can't eat that. So you need to take your supplemental magnesium in some other form than pure magnesium. When we take a magnesium supplement, we're taking it in some form, such as magnesium oxide, magnesium bisglycinate, or magnesium citrate, and there's several others. So clearly, the magnesium is only one component inside of whatever form that we're taking. So when we're talking about elemental magnesium, again, we're just talking about the amount of the magnesium itself and not the rest of the molecule. So here's a quick look at the periodic table of elements. And as you can see, I circled magnesium. So you can just look on it, you get the weights of the magnesium and the weights of everything else, the masses of them. So you compare the molecules to calculate how much magnesium. So I think two quick examples is really going to clear it up how you'd even measure the elemental magnesium. So a very simple compound that's the most popular supplement for it's the most common magnesium supplement, but certainly not the best form, generally speaking, is magnesium oxide. And this is just the chemical formula MgO. So it's one magnesium atom and one oxygen atom. And if you go back to the periodic table and you zoom in and you can see that one magnesium weighs 24 and one oxygen is 16. So if you look at the total, it would be 24 out of 40 would be magnesium. So the elemental magnesium is 60%. And technically, you could say the elemental oxygen, which is the rest of it, is 40%. So that is quite high, actually. So it's actually mostly elemental magnesium and magnesium oxide. But the problem is, as we'll see later, it doesn't absorb very well. So this next form of magnesium is non-buffered magnesium bisglycinate, which is the form that we generally recommend and it's the one we carry, is C4H8MgN2O4. Uh, so that's pretty complicated. And you can see that magnesium is only one component of all that. So I just did a quick... Uh, add up of all of the weights here. So four carbon is 48, eight hydrogen, they're one each. So that's a total of eight. Again, one magnesium, 24. And if you add all that up and divide, the elemental magnesium only weighs 14% of that compound. But that's not the whole story. Um, so basically, what we're looking at is this type of magnesium absorbs the best and doesn't cause any diarrhea and it has the most health benefits it's very natural as well but if someone's asking what's the elemental magnesium they're just saying if you were to weigh the whole molecule and then imagine taking just the magnesium out and weighing it that's what they're referring to now when you go to actually choose a magnesium supplement the amount of elemental magnesium is not the only thing to consider it's also how well it absorbs, among other things. So magnesium oxide, as we said in the first example, even though it's as high as 60% elemental magnesium, it only absorbs at a rate of 4%, and the other 96% generally either doesn't absorb or even goes into the toilet, causes diarrhea, which is a major problem with it. And that's why most people don't like it, and most experts wouldn't recommend it and we have a video and a lot explaining that even most magnesium glycinate or bisglycinate is actually buffered with magnesium oxide although they don't tell you that meaning it's the two of them mixed and the reason they do that is to lower the price increase the elemental magnesium by adding oxide into it and just not mentioning it but the problem is it still does cause the diarrhea so anyway, that is the basic definition of elemental magnesium, just the amount of 
the weight of the actual magnesium in the compound. And again, there's a lot more to the story. So we're going to put a link to our product as well as some information on the website that we think would be beneficial when you're looking for the benefits of different types of magnesium.